Imagine a universe where the extraordinary is ordinary, where the impossible becomes possible. Picture a place where stars are born in cosmic nurseries and black holes dance in a gravitational ballet. These unbelievable space facts will take you on a voyage where the marvels of the cosmos come to life, from diamond planets to solar systems with sunsets of all colors. Fasten your seatbelt for an interstellar adventure that will redefine the way you see the universe. Outer space isn't empty space. Imagine sailing through the cosmos, where stars twinkle like distant lighthouses and planets orbit serenely. It's easy to assume that the vast stretches between these celestial beacons are just empty voids, but as it turns out, this isn't quite the case. You see, while space is indeed a vacuum, it's not the flawless, empty stage you might envision. It's more like a theatre after a show. While the audience has left, there's still confetti scattered on the floor. This cosmic confetti is made up of a smattering of particles, each with its own story to tell. Drifting through the darkness, we find clouds of interstellar dust, the remnants of ancient cosmic events mingling with space plasma, the soup of charged particles that fills the universe, and zipping through this scene are cosmic rays, high-energy travelers from distant explosions, or perhaps even the edges of black holes. So next time you gaze up at the night sky, remember, it's not just the stars and planets that make up the cosmos. The center of the Milky Way galaxy has tens of thousands of black holes. Let's dive into the heart of our galaxy, where a new study has unveiled a cosmic conclave of black holes. Picture this, tens of thousands of these enigmatic entities lurking in the Milky Way's core, each one a silent sentinel of space. Now, black holes are the ultimate cosmic hide-and-seek champions. They're so good at the game that not even light, the fastest runner in the universe, can break free from their gravitational grip. This makes them incredibly tricky to spot. But here's where it gets interesting. When a black hole teams up with a star, it's like they start a dance so intense that it sends out X-ray signals across the galaxy. These signals are like cosmic breadcrumbs that lead scientists right to them. According to the study, the Milky Way's bustling center is a hotspot for these partnerships, boasting hundreds of black holes paired with stars. But that's not all. There's an estimated 10,000 solo black holes out there too, each one a solitary wanderer in the galactic wilderness. So while black holes might be invisible on their own, their interactions with stars create a spectacle that allows us to uncover their secrets. It's a reminder that even in the darkest corners of the universe, there's always a way to shed light on the mysteries waiting to be discovered. The hottest planet in our solar system is 450 degrees Celsius. Step into the solar system's sauna and you'll find Venus reigning as the hottest planet, boasting an average surface temperature of a sizzling 450 degrees Celsius or about 842 degrees Fahrenheit for the Fahrenheit fans. Now you might think, shouldn't Mercury hold the title since it's snuggled closest to the sun? But here's the twist. Mercury, lacking a cozy atmosphere, is a victim of extreme temperature mood swings, ranging from scorching day to icy night. Venus, however, is swathed in a thick, luxurious blanket of an atmosphere, the densest of all the planets. This gaseous cloak is a master at trapping heat through a runaway greenhouse effect, turning Venus into the solar system's bake oven. So, despite its second place position in the race around the sun, Venus takes the gold medal in the temperature department, making it the ultimate hotspot of our planetary neighborhood. Astronauts grow taller in space. Imagine floating in a place where the pull of gravity doesn't press you down. That's what astronauts experience in space, and it comes with a rather stretching revelation. Without Earth's gravity compressing their spines, astronauts can actually grow up to 5 centimeters, 2 inches, taller during their celestial sojourns. This isn't just a theory, it's a fact that was strikingly illustrated by astronaut Scott Kelly after spending a whopping 340 days aboard the International Space Station orbiting our planet. He returned to Earth and stood a bit loftier than before. The most compelling evidence, he was taller than his identical twin brother Mark upon his return. Now this height increase isn't permanent. Gravity soon works its magic again, and astronauts return to their usual stature once back on solid ground. But it's a fascinating glimpse into how the human body adapts to the unique environment of space. 
It's like a cosmic stretch, one that temporarily redefines your physical limits. One day on Venus is longer than one year. Venus, our neighboring planet, is quite the slowpoke when it comes to spinning on its axis. It takes a leisurely 243 Earth days to complete one full rotation, which means a day on Venus is longer than a year on Earth. Now wrap your head around this, Venus orbits the Sun in just 225 Earth days, so a Venusian year is shorter than a Venusian day by 18 Earth days. In other words, if you were to celebrate your birthday on Venus, you'd have the candles blown out before the day even ended. It's a peculiar quirk of our solar system that turns our understanding of time on its head. Imagine the possibilities with all that extra daylight. Here's how it looks in numbers. Venusian day, 243 Earth days. Venusian year, 225 Earth days. Difference, 243 minus 225, 18 Earth days. So a year on Venus is 18 days less than a day on Venus. It's a cosmic ballet of celestial mechanics that's both fascinating and a little mind-boggling. The footprints on the Moon will be there for 100 million years. The Moon's barren landscape tells a story of exploration frozen in time. Without an atmosphere, it's a world without wind or rain, a silent guardian of history's footprints. Here, the Apollo astronaut steps are etched into the lunar dust alongside the marks of spacecraft, rovers, and even the remnants of missions past. These imprints are destined to last for eons, a celestial museum of human achievement that could endure for millions of years. It's a testament to the enduring nature of our quest for knowledge, each footprint a chapter in the saga of space exploration. With no natural forces to erase them, these marks stand as a monument to the human spirit, an indelible signature on the surface of our closest celestial neighbor. Sunsets on Mars are blue. Imagine standing on the dusty surface of Mars, the cool breeze of the thin Martian air brushing against your spacesuit. As the day comes to a close, you look towards the horizon and witness an extraordinary sight, a sunset that defies all expectations. Instead of the warm hues of reds and oranges we're accustomed to on Earth, you're greeted by a serene blue glow. It's 2015, and NASA's Curiosity Mars rover has just sent back its first color image of this very scene, capturing the world's imagination. Why blue, you ask? Well, it turns out that the Martian atmosphere is filled with fine dust particles that scatter the sunlight. But here's the twist. These tiny particles favor blue light, allowing it to penetrate the atmosphere more effectively than colors with longer wavelengths, such as yellow, orange, and red. It's a bit like holding up a prism to the sun, except nature has done it for us on a planetary scale. This blue sunset tells us a story of the Martian environment, one that's both alien and mesmerizing. It's a reminder of the wonders that await us as we explore the cosmos, seeking to understand the mysteries of our neighboring planets. And who knows, maybe one day, you or I could be there to see it with our own eyes, as humanity takes its next giant leap. The moon is lemon-shaped. Yep, you heard that right. Our moon, with its serene glow, has a bit of an oddball shape. It's not the round orb we often draw or imagine. Instead, it has flattened poles and a slightly bulgy waistline, much like a lemon. This peculiar shape is most pronounced around its equator, both on the side that winks at us each night and the mysterious far side, forever hidden from our view. Now, why does our lunar neighbor sport such a quirky figure? Well. It's believed to be a result of its early tango with Earth. Picture this, the young moon freshly formed, still warm and malleable, dancing in Earth's gravitational embrace. This cosmic ballet happened not long after the moon came into existence, and Earth's gravitational pull tugged and stretched the moon, sculpting it into the lemon-like shape we observe today. This isn't just a fascinating bit of lunar trivia, it tells us a story of the moon's birth and its ancient interactions with our planet. It's a testament to the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our universe, where even our seemingly steadfast satellite has been shaped and molded by the forces of gravity. So the next time you look at the moon, remember, it's not just a light in the dark, but a lemony relic of cosmic history. And that's a wrap on our cosmic journey through the most unbelievable space facts. If you enjoyed exploring the universe with us, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more stellar content.